we're on the final day of three days that you spent a whole year making happen. How has it been for you and what have been the kind of highlights of the past couple of days? Well, the highlight of the past couple of days is the past couple of days in the yeah. sense that being here is, 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 is the highlight. It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the end of the line from trying to put it together, produce it, pull it together, finance it and make it happen. And it's the beginning of something as well. So it's the end of that process and it's the beginning of the creative process, which is the thing that I love. It's the beginning of the music and hearing the music. And this thing is all about the music. It's all about providing a space for people to be creative, to sing together, to raise their voices known voices, other voices, voices that haven't been heard yet. interesting mix coming through in this in the songs that you put on your new album portrait um, and that we heard there in the song you just played people have alluded to the kind of you know the soul the soul aspect of, of, of your voice and your singing but there was a real folky thing going on there and what you were doing and the way you were using your voice as well yeah I've always been a massive folk fan um, from Neil Young to Johnny Mitchell and I've, I've that's that's basically why I started writing songs really because I was really into a lot of folk things, um, a lot of folk guitar, um, Sister Rose at Far, that's some more of a gospel folk sound, gospel blues, um, Odetta, she was a real folk hero as well. So that's, that's basically where I started, so I'm glad that that element is still quite obvious. This is the second year of Other Voices media partnership with The Guardian and several of its journalists have been around the town checking it out and getting involved. What's your, what was your first impressions when you, when you sat down? Did you just get straight into the action? Yeah, we actually um, we started in the, in the pub when we, as soon as we got here, which is I think what you have to do. Um, amazingly small, perfect little town. It's, it's used to going to festivals where maybe all the acts happen around a town, but this is one street. And it's a bit like a TARDIS because you've got the main venues, you've got the, the church and the, the main bars, and then the next morning you're remembering all these things that you saw in strange places that weren't scheduled, you had no idea what was going to, go, going to happen. And um, I've got memories last night of seeing a, a guy playing rave violin, essentially, playing violin over rave piano in a place called Adams with um, three women who were dressed up a bit like Amy Winehouse dancing on the, on the bar. So who are, you, who are you really looking forward to seeing and what surprises do you think you're going to find over I'm, the few days? I'm quite looking forward to see um, Palmer Violets, who were one of those buzz bands who got lots of YouTube hits before they were even signed, the usual story. And in terms of the surprises, you sort of can't take your eye off the ball for a minute because if you find out you've missed something, you're kicking yourself, something that happened in a little back room, something like that. And you never know, you could actually just go in the wrong place and miss something amazing that happened somewhere else. Let me rise again. Walking around the town over the past few days, it wouldn't be unusual to stick your head into one of the pubs and find a small crowd of people, nose to nose with a band. It's probably part of the music trail. Another golden day. Rosie. Another layer of clothes me. The whole other voices thing is packing up and it's going on the road. It's going from, from one end of Ireland all the way up to Derry. Why did that come about this year in the 11th series? Look at where Dingle is. It's almost at the edge of Europe. It's almost right at the end of the Dingle Peninsula, right at the edge of the Atlantic. If you take a line of longitude and go up through the counties of Clare and Galway and into Mayo and Sligo and Donegal, you end up in Derry. That line of longitude along that Atlantic corridor was something that interested me. How could we connect north to south and then to go to London and connect east to west? And the atmosphere would be different in Derry. So it's, it's going to be about 
the collision or the coalition that happens when, 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 when we arrive to a place with different voices and different accents. And I think we're going to have great fun. By the time you watch this, the last band will have played, the gear will have been loaded out, and St James's Church will have returned to normal service. Next up, Derry.